First of all, let's get something out of the way. We know Kawhi Leonard's going to miss games, right? We do know this. It's inevitable. I mean, he's injury prone. We know this. Okay? Paul George, you can expect him to miss games, even though we hope he avoids the nasty injuries that will knock him out for the season. Russell Westbrook will appear in games. We know this brother's a rough rider. He'll find a way. And now James Harden is there. And James Harden is there. And with James Harden on the court for the Los Angeles Clippers, the last two games, they are 0-2. They are 0-2. Through two games, Harden's averaging 14.5 points on 55% shooting from the field, 44% shooting from three-point range, with 5.5 assists, 3.5 turnovers. And they're still winless with him. Still winless. Harden is averaging 21 minutes per game. On the court with Kawhi, PG, and Russell Westbrook. By the way, did you know that PG, Russell Westbrook, and Harden, no trio on the same team has played more games and are devoid of a championship than those three. Did you know that? Well, I'm here to know. I'm here to let you know that. And the reason why I'm letting you know that is because I don't know how wise it was for them to bring James Harden to L.A. Yeah, you probably did it because you needed a safety net. You needed a security blanket in case Paul George or Kawhi Leonard inevitably get hurt because that's what they do. Let me get an additional dude on the squad that can blow up and score points in bunches. I got it. I understand the thinking. But did you ever think about this, Los Angeles Clippers? How potentially detrimental it is to Russell Westbrook if you had brought James Harden on the squad, which you did. You see, when you look at Russell Westbrook, this isn't the Russell Westbrook that was on the Lakers that could have hit the backside of a barn, that didn't even want to have his children and his wife in attendance for the games because he couldn't take the vitriol they were hearing about him from fans, which, by the way, I think is entirely reasonable. But since Russell Westbrook got to the Los Angeles Clippers, this brother has won games for them. He's won games in the playoffs for them. His brother's, his brother's real. Hall of Famer, no question. And then I look at the Los Angeles Clippers, and I'm saying, how is this going to work? Because regardless of the greatness, here's the problem. Westbrook needs the ball. Harden needs the ball. Neither of them are accustomed to being deferential, which you would have to be to Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard, the worst superstar you could ever have on your squad. I told y'all that. Because he's hurt 50% of the time, number one. And number two, he does nothing to promote the game. Now, when he's healthy, he is legit. He is a superstar. He is big time. There is no doubt about that. This is not a referendum against his skills. Kawhi Leonard is an elite skilled player. And a two-time champion and a two-time NBA Finals MVP. I know the resume, but here's what I do also know. He does nothing to promote the game other than play. And when he's playing, he's only available 50% of the time. I'm sorry. I don't think he's the greatest superstar to have. But Russell Westbrook came bad. So now that James Harden is there, what you going to do? Ty Lue and I'm trying to explore starting off for them. That shit ain't going to work. Don't even waste your time. It's not going to work. Egos are going to get in the way. It's just that simple. Egos are going to get in the way. Now talk about the game because James Harden's game, when he wants to be that quintessential point guard, to it can adapt to any system. The issue in question is whether or not that's going to be something that he's willing to do. And if he's not willing to do it, will Russell Westbrook be willing to do it? I doubt it. So you tie Lou. If I'm Ty Lu, I'm thinking this is my last year in L.A. It's hard to leave L.A. It's hard to leave the Southern California sunshine. It's hard. You know what ain't hard? Alleviating headaches from your life. Which the combination of Harden with the rest of these guys will do to a coach like Ty Lu. I don't know about the Clippers. I don't know about the Clippers. 